Hello, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about f strings and their brand new syntax that was introduced in Python 3.12. Uh, first, we're going to talk about some of the problems and why it was introduced in the first place, and then maybe some more opinionated parts about the new syntax. Uh, I also went over this in my 3.12 video that will be linked in the description if you want all the other fun new features, uh, but I figured this one was big enough that I would call it out in a separate video. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so. First, we're going to show some of the problems that exist in the f-string syntax in Python 3.11, uh, and these are fairly niche. They do come up somewhat often, uh, which is why they it got fixed, um, but let's show this anyway. All right, so let's say that we have a list of things, hello, hello world, uh, and one common thing that you want to do with a list of things is join them with a new line and display them. So. Uh, and you may want to take this join new line and put it into something else. So one common error message that I've seen a lot is something like, um, I don't know, print problems and then a new line and then that same joined list of things. Uh, maybe you would have two new lines, I don't know, uh, inside of your f string. However, uh, you'll notice here that f string expression part cannot include a backslash. And we actually see kind of two problems here. One, this little syntax indicator is not pointing at our backslash. It doesn't really know anything about this f string at all, just that somewhere in there, there's a problem. Uh, but also this backslash isn't allowed inside of this f string. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is I had to alternate the quotes here. So I had single quotes and double quotes. Uh, you'll also note, you know, if I don't have the backslash here, it does work, but it gives you sort of nonsense. Uh, and I have to alternate the quotes here. So if we did hello uh, thing with single quotes here, we're gonna get a different error here. Uh, F string expression expecting really brace. It does at least tell you sort of where the problem is, but not really. Like this, this error message is also kind of nonsense. And so those are the two main problems in my mind that were being solved by this uh, in Python 3.12. If we go to 3.12 and run the same thing here, so let's just copy this and copy this, uh, you'll see that it just works. There's no problems here. It allows us to uh, use backslashes inside of replacement strings. Uh, it allows us to nest the same quotes inside replacement strings as well. Uh, and so you can technically nest f strings forever. Um, Let's see if I get this right. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, I also need to put quotes. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I did not get it right. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you can now nest f strings forever. And hopefully, no one actually writes code like this. There are a few other things that come as part of this. Uh, this part inside of the f string can now be an arbitrary expression. Uh, before, it was an expression, but it was constrained by like, uh, quotes and new lines and comment characters. Uh, but now you can have all sorts of stuff in here. You can basically write the full Python syntax in here. Uh, this is also fully parsed now. So this has integration in both the parser and the tokenizer in Python. And so you have full access to all of the expressions in here. And if you were to, I don't know, make a, make a mistake inside one of these, like, I don't know, uh, empty string is not callable. Um, it will usually point at the position, although I guess it didn't here. Usually it'll point out exactly where the problem is. Uh, oh, maybe I would have to do it in one line. No, <laughs> okay, so there are still some cases where it doesn't produce a good error message, but eh, that's fine. Um, but yeah, there's basically full syntax parsing here. This also means the tokenizer was updated. And so a lot of linters and code formatter tools that care about the tokenization now have to understand the insides of F strings. But this also means that they can understand the insides of F strings. So they can add new you know, warnings or errors in stuff that was previously invisible to linters. Um, but yeah, that's basically the update here. Uh, there's also some seg faults with this in the latest version or uh, in, in 3.12.0. Uh, so some of the syntax is still a little bit broken, but it'll hopefully get fixed by 3.12.1, and then you won't have to worry about that ever again. Anyway, this is the new f-string syntax. Um, my thoughts on this is, yeah, text editors are gonna need to catch up and support this. Uh, my editor 
uses TextMate grammars and doesn't work with it yet. So that's it. Uh, hopefully no one super nests things like this because I feel like this is pretty hard to read. I also find that this is kind of hard to read. Uh, we now have multi-line strings that don't need triple quotes, which is also a fun one, uh, as long as you have curly braces to extend the multi-line. Um, and I still alternate the quotes personally, just because I find it a little bit easier to read than this, but those are just my opinions. You don't have to go with them. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.